now there's research out there that states that um, going to group function on that patient would be a negative because it increases uh, muscle firing, excessive friction on back teeth. Well, I'm not so sure uh, yeah. because with fat graft patients, we have broken all the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are two. There are two fallacies what I would call fallacies in dentistry that I've totally broken the rules on. Okay, one is that that if you do not eliminate them from contact on their back teeth, they're going to trigger reflex spasm in the muscles of mastication. Mm. You know how I turn those off? Sympathetic. Sympathetic nerve block. So I don't buy into that. The second, and this is a little nuance on surgery, there is a concept that it's the retrodiscal tissue that hurts because when the disc is dislocated, the retrodiscal tissue has too much pressure and it ends up in pain. What I've actually found is that in some patients, I can just take the disc out when I'm doing a fat graft, yeah. but I can keep the retrodiscal tissue and cover the bone with it. So they end up with fat and retrodiscal tissue covering the bone, the disc that's dislodged down here in the muscle is taken out. Mm -hmm. They do not have pain related to the retrodiscal tissue. There is no difference. So the retrodiscal is causing pain is basically a dogmatic approach. You've seen that. That is, that is theoretical. I don't know if we could call it dogmatic. It's a theory yeah. that doesn't prove to be true in the fat graft patient. That's fair. Okay. So, um, at any rate, you, you know, it, it, just, it just illustrates that there are a lot of things we think are appropriate and with all good intentions, you know, we follow what, what our leaders have told us and, and, you know, you don't want to stray too far from, from how dentistry evolves. But in my opinion, dentistry is way behind in terms of sympathetic pain. Yeah. Dentistry is way behind too in understanding all of the mechanisms of muscle spasm, okay? We need to expand our universe beyond just the trigeminal system into the sympathetics too.